Hello and welcome to today's video. Today, a quick uh, kind of unboxing, first look, inking, first writing with this pen from Twisby. So Twisby released this very recently. It is the Twisby Mini AL, and this is the grape version. Now, I've been a big advocate for Twisby doing more purple pens. It's not still not the purple I want. It's still not that matte uh, sort of version of a Twisby Eco in purple like the uh, Lambito was able to do a couple of years ago, or a number of years ago now. But we will get there. They will do it eventually. I have faith. Um, but purple Twisbys are always a favourite for me, so I had to get this one. So this is the box it comes in. It's a very simple cardboard box, uh, and uh, like Twisby do, you lift up the top. So we've got some foam packaging, some uh, instruction information and filling information. Um, you know, it goes into you know how you can maintain the pen and all of that kind of stuff, or how not to maintain the pen. And then we have the pen, uh, which is beautiful. Um, like, I've seen pictures of this obviously online, we all have more phone packaging, um, and this is how it looks. So I mean, I'll take it out of this box, we'll zoom in a little bit closer, have a bit, bit of a better look, uh, and then uh, I'll ink it and do a writing sample. As per usual, in the bottom of the pens tray, you get a little uh, thing of silicone grease here. This is the silicone grease that is used for oper operating the piston. Um, it's not the same sort of silicone grease that like you use to like eyedropper a pen. It's a slightly different sort of formulation. And then we get the tr uh, the metal Twisby wrench there. So that all comes in the bottom of the pen tray. So here we have the pen. This is the uh, great Twisby AL, Mini AL. Um, and uh, it is a small pen and it posts onto some threads on the back there and makes a fairly sort of decent sized pen. I'm gonna do a full review of this. I just wanted to show uh, this pen. I'm just gonna quickly show it. Just So here is a regular uh, AL and there is the mini. So you can see size wise, there's obviously a difference here. Um, we also get a couple of differences in kind of like uh, the cap band is just a plain metal cap band there um and uh you know uh, but the metal parts are sort of all kind of the same it's a much smaller pen uh, as you can see and here is the the vac mini so you can see it's a similar size to the vac mini just a little bit shorter um similar cap in terms of the cap band and things like that um but yeah it's a smaller pen uh designed to be probably closer to a pocket pen um and uh it's, but it's nice. It's very simple. So I'm going to ink this up. Um, this is it's a piston filling pen. So, you know, it operates by twisting the piston knob on the end there. Obviously, it's not going to have the same capacity as its bigger cousin um, or bigger sibling. Uh, but uh, let's ink this up and see how we go. So the ink I'm going to use today is Birmingham Pen Company uh, writing ink, Gene Kelly Raspberry Rain. This is one of their original formulation ones that was made in Germany, not made in-house. Um, I actually preferred the German-made inks personally, but, uh, you know, each to their own. Okay, so I'm just going to put the pen... It's going to be hard to show this on camera, I'm sorry. It's not going to look great. Just do a second depression of the piston, get a nice fill on it here, clean it up with some paper towel. So one thing I want to say that I already really like is this section. It's not the groove section of the AL, um, the regular AL, so it's a nice sort of smooth but like not glossy metal um, section. So it's nice in the hand. It's small, but uh, it's, it's nice. So let's do a little writing sample here. So this is a Baron Fig notebook um, and uh, yeah, let's see how we go. So we've got the Twisby Mini AL. This is the grape version, and I think I got it with a medium nib from memory. Feels about right. Nice, very smooth. Like it's obviously just just been filled, so it's relatively wet. Um, and so the ink here is Birmingham. Pen Company, Gene Kelly, Raspberry Rain. So it's writing very nice. It's it's a very smooth nib. Um, Twisby nibs I have always enjoyed. I've got a number of Twisby pens I use, Ecos and Goes all the time for things like ink reviews and that kind of work. 
I have a number of. I have the original Diamond 580, not the AL, but the simple the simple classic version of that is one of my sort of go-to everyday writers. I really enjoy it. And this pen writes very, very nicely. Um, I do find myself wanting to hold it slightly further back for a, you know for the length of uh, you know the nib off the page, so I'm holding it back on those threads, and they're very smooth. Twisby threads have always kind of been smooth and you know comfortable, and it makes an okay size in the hand like that. Um, so yes, I'm going to use this pen for the next few weeks. I'll probably write it dry and then uh, and then have another crack at it with another ink as well. Do a full review, and I'll post that in a couple of months probably. But uh, as a first look at the Twisby uh, Mini AL in the grape. I think this is very nice. It's a nice purple. It's it's sort of a, you know, in comparison to something like, I can't remember the name of this particular purple, like the, but the sort of more metallic lilac-y kind of purple. Um, this is a nice sort of richer purple, closer to uh, my favourite kind of purple. So I enjoy this a lot and I um, am going to, and I actually enjoy the size of this pen. It's a sort of smaller pen that makes a decent size. Uh, I think this is a nice option. So the Twisby Mini AL uh, in the grape version here first look and uh, writing sample and all that kind of stuff. Hope you found this interesting and useful. Like and subscribe, hit the notifications button, get in touch, all that kind of stuff. If you'd like to support the channel, uh, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, and uh, yeah, your support makes this makes all these videos possible. So thank you for watching and uh, please watch out for the full review of this pen uh, in, a, in a probably in a couple of months time. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.